What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today we're going to talk to you on Lucid. I want to go over some of the current data points and break it down why Lucid was lagging in comparison to the broader market. So I'm going to go over all that. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So today it did close 0.46% in the red, very little volume. So 23.5 million shares were traded. 35.1 is the average. These are some of the transactions that did occur on the second secondary market above $100,000. So 1.18 million, 3.96 million. So a lot of good transactions, but a lot of these are sells based on the bid, the ask and the selling price. So anything that does show a bid essentially was a sell. So big money is not buying Lucid and they haven't been buying for a while now, as you can kind of see right here. So not until I guess the 18th. So that is when the broader market was starting to really get a good fire under it. And it really does suck when it comes down to Lucid because the broader market is rallying like crazy. Fear and greed index is at 77. The 10 year yield is going down continuously so a lot of growth stocks are taking advantage of this circumstance and going up big money is buying almost every stock a lot of people are rotating out of safe stocks as well as dividend paying stocks into riskier stocks just oddly enough lucid isn't getting anything and there hasn't been any news today no sec filings but like i said over the last little bit that is kind of anticipated because like it's kind of the holiday week so a lot of companies don't unveil or put out any news whatsoever so it's kind of radio silence so that's anticipated but it still does suck the fact that shorts for the most part dictate where Lucid does go because today shorts were able to increase 7.49 million shares today. That is crazy. So of the 23.5 million shares that were traded, almost 8 million shares was attributed to shorts. That is just crazy. I've said this over the last little bit. It does suck the fact that Lucid does need to do something about shorts, but if they do, they're considered a meme. So devalues the whole company. So they're kind of stuck in a very difficult scenario. Ideally, Big Brother PIF would come in and just behind the scenes kind of buy out or destroy whoever is shorting, but that's just wishful thinking. 24.75% of the free float is being shorted. 219.14 million shares overall are being shorted. As well, cost to borrow average is about 8.19%, so lower in comparison to yesterday. And through the interactive broker short availability does indicate that there's around 4.4 million shares available to be shorted. And through here, there hasn't been any recent analyst ratings. So last one was done, I believe it was 21 days ago, and that was Bank of America, John Murphy, who does have a 56% success rating. Same goes for companies. A lot of analysts kind of just go radio silent during this time frame. So don't anticipate any analyst ratings up until probably the new year or maybe when Lucid unveils their Q4 production and delivery numbers. We'll just have to sit tight and wait. But no matter what, this is very infuriating to see shorts just dictate how Lucid should go. As well as a result of shorts just manipulating Lucid, options activity does get kind of affected as well. So $510,000 in calls being purchased versus $405,000 in puts. Sentiment wise, 50% bullish, 50% bearish today. So kind of evenly divided for that. But even if you compare this with a lot of other growth stocks, like this is very, very negative. The broader market is just rallying. Options activity on a lot of growth stocks are very optimistic about the foreseeable future, whereas this like it could go either way and it's very crappy i did a post on twitter throughout the day saying like lucid needs to get their crap together like their technicals are breaking down on almost like one of the biggest runs i think the latest news in about 20 years like the s p has not had a bigger run in 20 years and lucid is almost flat if not negative over last one week two weeks this is just crap and something does need to happen but based on the call options that have been purchased there is an anticipation for it to be above 450 and looking at the puts it's anticipated to be below four dollars so you, you do have those two pivot points which are mirroring the technicals so with it at four dollars and thirty 
422 cents. It is between this S1 and the pivot. So 422 is a very strong support. And then $4.45 is going to be that next strong resistance. Lucid kind of stuck within this range uh, this whole day didn't really attempt to break out in either direction and in comparison like I mentioned to a lot of other growth stocks a lot of them are trading between this R1 and the R2 and in some cases between the R2 and the R3 so Lucid is just I don't know this isn't good by any means and I can only anticipate if the broader market does do a pullback what the repercussions to Lucid will be. So Lucid does have a finite window they need to get their stuff together and the reason why Lucid shorts are able to do what they see fit without any real damage is because there is no real catalyst coming in the short term because in a lot of my videos I do bring up I bring up stuff that is coming in the future such as ESS gravity which is uh, late 2024 mid-size SUV 2025 2026 ESS like I mentioned could be I don't know they said that it'll be on hold for the foreseeable future aside from that what is Lucid coming out with? Maybe a truck by 2027, 2028, somewhere around there. But like I mentioned, like aside from that, what are they actually going to be doing? They cut their actual 2023 production targets last quarter. So hopefully they hit a home run and surprise the broader market with their Q4 delivering production numbers. But again, this is why shorts are able to really just freely do whatever the hell they want so lucid behind the scenes needs to do a lot more partnerships right now to fill in that gap of no catalyst because if they start to do a lot of licensing agreements or just strategic partnerships aside from that because keep in mind when lucid announced the whole nvidia partnership and i think that was mid to early 2022 stock price ran because starting in i think late 2025 they're going to be incorporating their hyperion 9 chip so that'll give autonomous level driving like really amp it up right so that is the type of stuff that Lucid should be working on right now, not just sitting tight uh, and doing absolutely nothing. Once again, I might be ranting a little bit, but days like this are extremely infuriating because I know Lucid does have a lot of good potential and it's just getting overlooked by everyone. So once again, let me know your thoughts on Lucid. Do you still feel, or I guess, are you in the same frustration level as myself or are you okay with it? Like what's your thoughts with Lucid? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. There is one promo that I wanted to share with you. So take advantage of this sign up for an account with Moomoo, throw hundred dollars at it and you get five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars this is one of the best deals plus even has lucid within the description or the picture right there so take advantage of that link in the description below and also the comments hopefully you guys were able to hear me my voice is just been i've had one of those two month sicknesses or whatever i've just been on and off coughing and i think i've kind of reached my peak so i might be losing my voice which is kind of crappy but with all that said i appreciate all of you watching <laughs>